Well, today we're in Valley Springs, California, heading to a destination that is so important. Without it, we would not be able to exist in these foothills. The destination is Lake Hogan Reservoir. California Outdoor Adventures. Okay, Hogan Reservoir right now is at 16%. It's October 2022. The last time that this reservoir has been at this level was in 2015, if I recall. And when it lowers down like this, it's never really gone too much more than this. It went down to 14% at one point. Little things might come up that we've never seen before. And one of the things is, it looks like there was an old road right here that probably went to the original dam and if you follow it up it looks like it would have went right up to where the walking trail is and probably out under the road floods and flooding in stockton california was a fear in 1907. the city of stockton decided to build in the 1920s the first dam on the calaveras river it is still the only dam on calaveras river and that is Hogan Dam in Valley Springs. In 1924, the building of this dam began. The dam is 136 feet high and 1300 feet long. The site chosen at that time had a settlement called Petersburg. These families and people had to move out because the valley would soon be flooded. The only thing that remains of Petersburg that we know of at this time is a road called South Petersburg Road, which runs between Lime Creek Road and New Hogan Parkway along the lake. Most people don't realize what they're looking at when they come upon a pile of sticks like this, but years ago, and I don't know if they still do it, I think it was the Boy Scouts would collect Christmas trees at the end of December and they would bundle them up like this and then sink them at the bottom of Hogan to provide fish habitat to protect them from the larger predators. You can see here that with each individual Christmas tree they drilled a hole and strung a wire through connecting each individual Christmas tree, most likely to prevent them all from floating away keeping them all together for that fish habitat. As you look at all these little Christmas trees, you have to be in awe that each one of these were in somebody's home at one time with presents and children opening up presents on Christmas morning. And then now they have been repurposed to protect fish. In 1955 and again in 1958, the Calaveras River flooded, causing havoc in Stockton. The dam at 136 feet high was not sufficient. So in 1960, they started a new dam at 210 feet high. It was called a earth-filled dam. This rolled earth-filled dam is called New Hogan Dam. Here at this site at Lake Hogan, many of you that have been around for a while might remember the boat docks that floated in this area. It had a store, gas pumps, restaurant, and bar. But one winter we had a very bad storm that came in and broke the whole thing up. For years you would see chunks of styrofoam and debris floating around along the shorelines. The lake offers many activities such as a peaceful kayak adventure in the morning, taking your boat out on the water and catching fish, or just sitting on the shore and viewing wildlife. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll catch what is known as a fish boil.
Every year in June you will see smoke above the lake. Here you see that the firemen have come in to do a prescribed burn. The reason for this is because this area will be used as a launch pad to fire fireworks in an event called Fireworks Over Lake Hogan. There are many trails on Lake Hogan, and at certain times of the year you can see beautiful wildflowers. You can also hike up to where the Calaveras feeds the lake. These areas are so beautiful you almost feel like you're in a rainforest or in a different country. We are now in the Whiskey Creek area. It is barren and dry. On a normal year, this is a great fishing hole. I was told that back in the day, they were actually throwing tires in this lake to produce fish habitat, and they are now still removing them. On this side of the lake, there's a place where you can do target shooting, but unfortunately over the years, it's turned basically into a dumping ground with trash and debris all over. There's also some trails that you can take off-road. With the construction of the new Hogan Lake Dam in 1960 to 1963, it now supplied irrigation and drinking water to the Calaveras Water District as well as Stockton East Water District. New Hogan Dam is 210 feet above the riverbed. This dam also has a conventional hydro to produce electricity. It was permitted in 1982 and it will expire in 2032. The owner is Modesto Irrigation District. It is a public owned utility that went online in 1989. The distribution system owner is Pacific Gas and Electric. At the base of the dam, there's a short looped trail called the River of Skulls. It's approximately one mile with an elevation gain of about 88 feet. It was in 1806 when the Moraga expedition was traveling along the banks of the river and they noticed many skulls of what they believed to be Native Americans, naming it the River of Skulls or the Calaveras River. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video of Hogan Dam and the new Hogan Dam. And thank you for watching California Outdoor Adventures. California Outdoor Adventures.